the look of it is like a fat egg roll. That's what I, that's when you pulled it out, I was like, that looks like a fat egg roll. Nunca lo he probado, pero siempre hay una primera vez. Parece como les llaman estos los que, los egg rolls. This looks really good. It's got the flavor of an egg roll. The, the breading is, is soft. This uh, sauce is, is, is really good. It's, it's, uh, it's almost like a, like a sweet but spicy sauce, you know? It's good. Vamos a poner el chile o la especie. Tiene buena textura, más que todos son los vegetales. Este huele sabroso, no tiene mucho sabor. Muy rico, muy sabroso, pero... As soon as you bite into the, the outer layer, uh, I'm going to describe it as a tortilla. It's battered with uh, the, the, the seasoning that has a lot of basil, almost cajun flavor to it. Then you bite into it, it's almost like a, like a hot pocket. This is really good. It didn't look like a, a fried rice to me. It just looked like a, a very he healthy meal. I'm looking forward to the fried rice. Usar el huevo arriba del arroz. Definitely looks uh, like fried rice, right? I, I do see the chicken on top. This rice is drier. It's not as moist, but I like the flavor of it. I, I, I like the fried rice, yeah. Probably wouldn't have thought of trying fried rice with an egg, especially a runny egg. So I probably would have left to the side, but that's just my own preference. But I'm glad I tried it because, you know, maybe, you know, the Indonesian pe people eat it that way, you know. So, yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Está muy rico, muy sabroso. Sí, tiene ese sabor a camarón. Está muy fresco, muy, muy sabroso. Muy rico. That fried rice was really good. Good texture. It's not undercooked and overcooked. You know, like uh, fried rice has to be a little crunchy, but not too crunchy. So it's got that really good flavor. They they didn't uh, cheese out or, or skimp out on, on the vegetables. So I see a lot of little onions, uh, chopped up onion in there. And, and the egg, you know, it's, it's an egg. It's, it's good. I like the little charred edges. So so I don't have a problem with that. William Cacahuate. It's got a really good flavor. Wow. See what this is right here. Really like that rice, really like the chicken. I like that it's very sticky. Peanut butter and chicken, dude. They must have had the munchies, that's all I gotta say. They must have had the munchies. It's delicious. I'm not knocking it by no means. This is this is delicious. Great combinations. That's why I, I admire seeing a real good chef cooking because they're as they're cooking and they throw these ingredients, like how's that gonna work? But the way they balance things out, that is freaking delicious. Good chicken. Peanut sauce is very, very pe peanutty. It kind of, kind of takes over the flavor of the chicken. Yeah, that peanut sauce is good. That that could go good almost on anything, you know. Con el cacahuate, no sabe a pollo. Hay más cacahuate. El pollo combinado con el cacahuate da esa, esa frescura. Ese sabor que te llena, aparte del olor al cacahuate, que te llena el, el, el ambiente y te llama a probarlo. ¿me entiendes? Y la gente que es fan del, del peanut butter y eso, le va a encantar. I generally don't, don't like tofu. This looks uh, a little different. I like uh, the presentation. Aromatic, almost like a spiciness. Kind of makes my throat a little itchy. There's like a, a sogginess to it. I don't know if because of the tofu or, or like the dressing that they put in it, but there's some sogginess to it. That's probably what I, I, I probably wouldn't like it, you know? Yeah, so it's okay, but uh, probably not for me. Tiene ese sabor de jengibre con el limón. A pesar de que es, es una combinación caliente, se siente fresco porque el jengibre te refresca, mantienes tu, tu paladar y todo eso. Está sabroso. Wow, those veggies are really good. The combination of that peanut sauce with the tempeh, the egg. When you told me it was a salad, I, I, I didn't I didn't picture it like a salad because there's rice. Yes, it does have your protein on top. And then when you said it's steamed vegetables, so I didn't see it as a salad, but I just see it like uh, protein and, and, and steamed vegetables. It's good. You guys are making me try some real rare stuff right here, okay? I just want you guys to know. So, so yeah, I, I get thumbs up for trying like some real rare stuff. I, when I first saw it, I'm like, I hope it's not um, chicharron because it looked very undercooked, man. It looked very undercooked. I'm like, hell no. But then I saw the, the, the egg in there. I'm like, that's freaking kind of crazy how they, they cook this fish and the egg in the middle. A little bit of goo gooiness to it. It almost tastes like br like bread. There's a, a fishiness to it, which again, I'm not a, a big fan of fishiness stuff. Noodles are good. I could taste kind of like a little bit of the flavor of the, 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 from the from the pickled uh, 
cucumbers. Yeah, this is good. I don't think I would order this. This is okay. Just not my cup of tea. Sabes que el pepino, así como está preparado y eso, le da ese sabor fresco. Mientras no comas el pescado, ¿eh? Porque el pescado sí está extremadamente fuerte. Como te digo, no es una cosa que dijera estoy desesperado, voy a, com a comerlo. Está muy recomendable. Not bad. That fish tastes like a fish stick. Not a bad taste. Noodles are really good. Easy to work with. Not uh, super sticky. You know, you can you can grab what you want. Whatever sauce is, I don't know if it came on with the noodles or it came with the with the fish. But the sauce on the bottom gives it that uh, almost like a little teriyaki, watered down teriyaki flavor. So it's uh, it's a really good combination with those noodles. They love their eggs, don't they? Eggs on everything. O sea, esto lo usan como un desayuno, yo creo, ¿no? I like it. There's a warmth to it. Reminds me again of comfort food. I love comfort food. The consistency with the rice and the porridge mixes well. And I like the egg that it's hard boiled, not a runny egg. No digo porque ya es que aquí, si comes huevo es desayuno. Tiene buen sabor y es como si fuera una, un purín de mixeado de pollo. Parece como si fuera arroz, hierbas y su huevo. Oh, there's that spice again. This is good. Onion, a lot of uh, chopped, the small cebollitas. That's what I'm getting. I get some of the, the chicken. Very good. It's a lot of rice in there, but the chicken down there. It's got bread in the bottom. There's a lot of layers going on. I'm glad I dug down, found the uh, found the treasure down there. It gave me a, almost like a, a chicken pot pie taste to this. So I would definitely, because it has the crust in the bottom or that donut, just imagine some tapatio on this sucker. This is good. It's good stuff. A oh, little egg what? <laughs> Indonesian love their eggs, huh? It's casi similar a lo que comimos en la primera vez, acompañado de la misma salsa. Does definitely look like an empanada, but look at this sucker is a really stuffed empanada, man. So they're uh, in Indonesia. I'm sure they're healthy, and you know they they have it, man. Us Mexicans will make it really small, and a penita le ponemos, right? The bread is like a croissant, so I like the softness of it. It tastes, it tastes good. I like this. Si no es por el pollo, dijéramos que es igual. Esta es más tortilla que aquella que es un poquito más, más tortilla, más gruesa. Esta es tirándole una tortilla más, más delgada y formas tu empanada. Y está rica en vegetales. Está muy sabrosa. Está muy recomendada esta. Como, como aperitivo, una, esta empanadita con un café o algo calientito. Pero está muy rica, muy sabrosa. Look at that. Look at that. They didn't mess around. There's a lot of carrots in there, which is really good. So you got the carrot flavor, the uh, peas flavor in there, a little bit of chicken. It's really good. Where's where's my huevo? Where's the egg? <laughs> Here we go. Put the egg up top. I wouldn't be surprised if there's egg in it. Y este parece pan de elote. I can see the honeycomb. Uh, my dad has bees, and I can see that honeycomb texture. Like a banana custard flavor, but I but but it's not. But it's that sweet honey. Ah, that's 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 good. I, I love I love. Yeah, that's good. I like this. This is good. And I always love the the darkened edges. Always, you know. Yeah. Tiene un saborcito medio extraño, medio fresco, como si usaran una un tipo de hierba como está muy rico. Su textura es muy sabrosa. Hay de manera que estás comiendo un pancake. Me tiene pero más grueso pero con sus aditivos y su, su miel, no sé si sea la miel aquí, la preparado de miel, que le hace sabor como a hierba. Este sí con el café, definitivamente. Not bad. Texture is very hard to describe because it's very, it's spongy, but it's got a stronger consistency than a spongy bread. It's just like a strong gelatina, almost like a very strong flan. Yeah, very jellyish, but but just a stronger consistency. That's the best way I can describe this. Really good taste. Well, the appearance looks like a lot of these weird drinks that my students come into class with. You know, they they get like a like a like a like a green flavored tea, you know, right? Or or they or they come in with boba, or they come in with the Starbucks, and it's like a green latte or something. You know, like it's got a a green tea, chai tea, or whatever. You know, right? Oh, this is como malteada. Interesting look. It's kind of slushy. I, I see a whole bunch of different colored jellies or gel, like almost gelatin in there, right? I don't look at that. It's very refreshing, it's very sweet, not overpowering sweet. 
I mean, you could have this alone and that would be kind of like a meal on its own just because it's, it's very, it's very filling and fulfilling. Uh, so I like it. I, I, I like the taste of it. The, I like the color, the, the texture. Muy refrescante, muy sabroso. Si sí sabe el coco, tiene el coco. Trae su condimento de arroz. Muy rico, muy sabroso. Just got a whole bunch of those gelatin or something like that chopped up. Really good flavor. It's a very uh, kind of chilling drink. Some good for in the summer is what I think. It's good. It's refreshing.